heard a wise person say, take the time to do what makes your soul feel happy. And for me, when my self-care is on point, all is right with the world. You're struggling because your self-care ain't right. So let me give you the ultimate guide to help you improve your self-care. Number one, self-acceptance. You gotta accept yourself for who you are. Flaws and all. I know we all have insecurities, we're all self-conscious, but God made you the way you are. And that doesn't mean you don't wanna try to get better. Work on your personal development, that's all fine. But you have to accept you as you are at this moment in time. You're perfectly perfect. And I don't care what they say. I love you just the way you are. I need you to do the same thing for yourself. Number two, self-awareness. You gotta know what makes you tick. You gotta know what makes you smile, makes you feel good, makes you sad. That way you can avoid those toxic situations, those toxic environments and tell them, nah, I've been there before. When I go there, I may have a little fun, but in the long run, I don't feel good. But when I do that, it's all smiles and I feel proud of myself for getting that job done. Number three, self-control. You gotta know how to stop yourself from losing your mind in a situation. I know for me, I use that 10-4 method. Whenever somebody hits that trigger, because people will hit that trigger point, I always take 10 seconds, forward think, see the worst thing that can happen, and I make the right decision. Self-control. Number four, self-confidence, self-belief. You gotta believe in yourself. You got a goal, you got a dream, you got to believe it can happen. Everybody that's successful around you, they're human beings just like you. They're not Martians, they're not ghosts, they're not goblins. They went through the same difficult process and they can tell you some stories, but they believed in themselves. So when they fell down, they picked themselves back up and I need you to do the exact same thing. Believe in you. Number five, self-discipline. You gotta be strong enough to stop yourself from doing things that you don't need to be doing. You gotta win the battle of you versus you. And sometimes I know life gets the best of us. But when our self-discipline is strong, we put ourselves in position for life to see the best of us. And we're gonna fall down, we're gonna make mistakes, our self-discipline is gonna slip. But that's when you need number six, self-forgiveness. You have to be able to pick yourself up and pat yourself on the back and say, hey, it's gonna be okay. You have to be your number one cheerleader sometimes and tell yourself, you know what, I made a mistake, but I'm human, I'm imperfect, so it's okay. Try again, start all over. You're gonna fall, you're gonna fail. But without failure, there's no progress. Without losing, there's no winning. So forgive yourself. That bad relationship, you know, was a bad idea when you started it and you got in it, didn't go well, forgive yourself. That situation, bad from the start, forgive yourself. Self-forgiveness is a major key to your ultimate self-care. So practice it each and every time, and never quit, never give up. Just start all over again. If you fall off the wagon, try again, and keep trying until you get it right. Number seven, last but not least, self-love. Love you some you. And let me dispel this myth right now. Self-love is not selfish. It's essential because if you don't love you, it's virtually impossible for you to love anybody else the right way. You have to be okay by yourself because when you're in that relationship, if it falls apart, when these people leave, you have to be okay and be comfortable doing things with you, hanging out with yourself. You are worth it, you are worthy. Hug on you, love on you. Do things that make you smile. Be okay saying no sometimes. It's okay to add value, but make sure you're adding value to you first and foremost, because when you do, the energy that you're gonna give off to the world is gonna be massive. So never forget, self-love is the best love. So there you have it. The ultimate guide to your self-care. And once you start using all these tips, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.